I'm going to go ahead and introduce our host, Tim Gonzalez. Yeah! Yeah! Conyers, let's do it! <laughs> Tim Stamp thing. 53rd show in a row, clap it up for that. Clap it up. Thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting this. I've always loved stand-up comedy. I always loved watching uh, the HBO comedy specials and stuff on BT and stuff like that. But going to seeing it live was something completely different. We just really fell in love with like Steve and the way he ran a show. And he was just always on me. He's like, dude, you got to get on stage. you got to try this. I mean, you'd be great at it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I've never been to a comedy class or I've never done like some of those things. And I just respect it way too much. And to think I'm some guy that's just gonna get up there with a beer and tell a couple jokes and it's just that easy. Uh, no. Trying to help you out, play us. Yeah. I'd love to hear this guy's ringtone now. Bill. Bill. Your name's Bill. Dale. Bill, okay. Same thing. Dale Bill is <laughs> who, who are you here with, Dale? Me. Okay. <laughs> And he says, Tim, no, seriously, like, get a notebook, carry it around with you, and when you just are in a situation that seems odd or funny or something pisses you off, write it down. And go back in a couple days or in a week or so and just look and see if you got anything. And I didn't tell anybody that I did it, but I did. And finally, one day, he comes up, he's like, hey, man, uh, you got anything in that notebook you want to get up tonight? And uh, I went up there and hooked even more than going and catching live shows. Because uh, I was on stage and I was the one actually like got getting some laughs and I was addicted. Why are y'all on the couch? Oh. We don't want to be on that couch. Why? It's we clean. Sit up here now. This is a new one. They let they took the other one got took back to Renaissance Center. This one's from here. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to kind of take a journey with me and some of the things that I've had to deal with growing up. You know, I felt like uh, as Steve Haig told me in the beginning, he's like, look, no one's seen the world through your eyes. So you're gonna be able to bring it in a different perspective than anybody else. It may sound a little similar, um, but you're funny. You know, everyone has some funny in them. Just see if you can channel that. I like your little glasses. Thank you. Yeah. They're fake. I know they're fake. I know they're fake. Here's how you know they're fake. They're blurry. The ones that cost anything, they do something with all that glare. And so what I want people to do when they come and see me is get to know me a little bit. But my whole life I feel like has been comedy. I've had a pretty crazy life. So if there's any way that I can somehow like put that into a set, maybe somebody will understand me a little bit better and get some laughs out of it. I'm glad you got dressed up. I thought she was going to Atlanta tonight. Y'all live in Covington, right? So this is Atlanta for you. I want people to not only be entertained and have a good time while they're here, I want it to be so memorable that the next day they can't help but go back to work or whatever they do and just talk about it. Like, you should have been here at Six Ways of Sunday. We have the best time. You know, these people are so funny. Covington, this is for you all over here. Covington, Wacky Wings of Covington would like everybody to know they are now paying top dollar for gold. <laughs> so, uh, take by some of your broken jewelry. They are paying cash for that. They're also looking for sign spinners. It might not be worth giving up your unemployment check, but you should know. I want to bring so many different types of people and diverse crowds here to see the diverse comedians that I bring. And then, like I said, it'd be memorable, you know, where it's not an urban thing or it's not a white thing or it's not a redneck thing. It's comedy. Jeller. Nobody wants to hear that shit, man. <laughs> Rockdale County. The Jeller. Where are you going to be a Jeller at so everybody knows? East Point. Okay, so East Point. If anybody gets locked up at East Point, you got a man on the inside right there. The Atlanta comedy scene has embraced what I'm doing, got behind it, and come out and helped me grow to where I haven't had to go out and really try to sell the idea. Comedy works. People love it. Okay. Cool. Do we clap it up? Cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll clap it up for that. Okay. Hey, how you doing? All right. Look, sit down, man. You're taller than me, and I'm on stage. <laughs> the hard work paid off with getting out, letting people know there's comedy right here, and it's free, and you're going to enjoy it. I've never met someone that said they didn't like stand up comedy. They might not like a certain comedian. But they've never said, well, you know what, stand-up comedy is stupid, I don't like yeah, it. Uh, we're going to try to get you a companion before the night's over with. Any lady want to join this young man? You'll sit with him? Yes. There it is. Yeah, 
skirt and, and her skirt is super short. So, so it's just getting the word out is the main thing. You know, a lot of people want to let a lot of other comedians know, yeah, you want comedians to know that you've got a room and if they want some stage time to come out. But ultimately, it's going to be these people out here that's going to come out and support you week after week. Jeez. So, All right. So nothing else? Anybody? No one else got a new job? or? That's my birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. Okay. Well, excited about it or not? What's up? Let's speak up. Not <laughs> You didn't hear me? I got a microphone. DJ, do we need to turn the volume off? This man can't hear me. The venue's got to be behind it. You know, if they're not willing to help set the tone by keeping their volume down, it's tough because they're trying to work. But keeping the volume down, making sure TVs are off, you know, and just helping create an environment to where the audience that's there is going to have an opportunity to hear what we're doing on stage. I'll be out soon now. You'll be out soon. That's what everybody says. I will. You will? I guarantee you. What's your action plan to get out? Um, I will be out before September with my Olive Garden job. Give it up for goals. Hey, no, just give it up. She's gonna, hey, she's going to be out. She's got big plans. Olive Garden's going to get her out and save the day. Um, <laughs> no, that's what she said. So, you know, it's a, it's a team effort. Everybody get behind it. And that's what I tell people all the time when they ask me, well, how do you do your room? Well, is the venue you're doing comedy at isn't even behind it, and they act like they don't even care that you're there then chances are you don't need to be doing it there. They have to be 100% behind it. All right, listen, I need somebody coming. I want to play this little game. I want to give away a tab. I want to give away somebody's entire, not you, put your hands down. A girl, preferably, actually, and we'll be sexist about this. I need a, I need a lady. One of y'all come up here. Yeah, you come on up here. Success is them leaving happy, telling people about the time that they had, and helping spread the word. Like, that is success to me is winning that person over to comedy because of the way I presented it to them. No, it's not that bad. Look, I haven't played it in a couple weeks, but here's what I want to do. It's just birthdays, okay? Give it up for topless trivia. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Dale's okay with the topless. <laughs> all right, all right, Dale's like, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. You know, it was, it's really neat, a lot of the things that I've got a, a chance to see. Um, this place... This was the 53rd Tuesday in a row that we've done comedy, and that means a lot to me. But I've actually done right at 200 shows in the last year, and I've wanted to, when I got into comedy, say, I want to completely submerse myself, immerse myself into this. You know, I want to know, is this something that I need to do or not? All right, we had a lot of birthday <laughs> shots. Don't worry, we have a lot to do tonight. We're gonna to plenty of that. Okay, Tanisha. Yes. I'm gonna, it is short. It is short. <laughs> look, we'll just look out there. Look up into the light. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. It really surprises me how many comedians will want a certain respect while they're on stage, but when they're off, they'll talk. Or, 24. 24. 24. Final answer? Yeah. Give it up for Tanisha. <laughs> 25 years old. Yeah, we got one. And give it up for the guy with the smartphone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so to me, it's just ongoing learning. You know, you always learn. Like tonight, we had a mic mess up on the fly. It's happened so many times at this point because of the amount of shows you do that you can't let it get under your skin, come unraveled on stage, and let the show just kind of like get out of control. Can you Tebow right now? Do you know what Tebowing is? T-bone? T-bone. 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 Yeah. It doesn't sound nice, but uh, <laughs> I, you probably could. I don't. I'm is it sexual? <laughs> you don't know what it is because no. you're Christian. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny right there. Watch as much as you can. Attend as much as you can. Do as much as you can. Because all those experiences that you're going to get, you're going to end up forming a really tight 20. 30, 40 minutes that nothing will face you. Here we you guys drink up. We're about to have a lot of fun. Strap in. Here we go. Here we go. Turn it up in the back back there, sir. Um, this first guy come to stage. Hasn't been doing comedy long. So he's going to come out here, guys. Show him a lot of love here at Condor. Show him why this is one of the favorite rooms for comedians here in the Atlanta area to come through and do. Please put your hands together and make a lot of noise for Mr. L.A. Really study comedy. Become a, become a student of it. You don't have to go back and watch everybody's specials 
and buy the old albums and all those things. Watch how they handle situations, hecklers, technical difficulties, uh, the crowd reactions, um, all of it. You know, just a joke bombing. Just study that and then go back and practice.